November 2nd, 2018. Oh, shit. <laughs> what, what episode number would this be? What, 73? No, it'd be like 74. 74. 74. 74. This is Nerd Bourbon episode 74. I'm Seth Sturgill. I'm Todd Sturgill. And I'm Daniel Hinojosa. Yeah, the I was going to introduce you. That's okay. Oh, cool. Fuck it. You jumped right in. There's nothing wrong with that. I wanted to butcher my own last name. Oh, that's fair. Everyone says, that's like, fair. it's not Hinojosa. Hinojosa. It's Hinojosa. I can't say it. <laughs> so, wait, is it Hinojosa? It, right. The H is silent, so it's like Inahosa. Oh, Inahosa? I mean, people are still going to say I'm pronouncing my own name wrong. But, <laughs> but I've yeah. Got, I've got my two best friends here in person recording a live episode of Nerd Bourbon. We're kind of doing a whiskey tasting today. I also have a dog's ass that gets my leg. <laughs> yeah, my dog Herbie is here. Another guest star. My cat Ollie is running around being a little shit. And uh, we're just kind of here chilling, talking about Halo. And we're about to be drinking some whiskey. Now... When did you start recording? Long ago. Holy shit! <laughs> uh, I wanted that natural opening. Okay. How are we going to start? So basically, what we've got before us, we've got six different sorts of whiskey, I guess. Six different brands. And I'm wondering, where do you guys think we should begin our journey here? I know where we're going to end it. I mean, I feel like we should start with the ones that we've tried. I know where we're going to end it. Because today I bought a bottle of very expensive top shelf I'm sorry, very cheap, honey. Uh, uh, Hibiki Japanese whiskey. And, wow. Uh, yeah, this is some top shelf shit. It was literally top shelf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was quite literally on top shelf. So um, we're going to end with that. But I'm wondering where we should begin. What do you think, Todd? Because, Dan, you're a little bit of a neophyte to the bourbon. Uh, yeah, I mean, the neophyte. Bourbon game. I, so the only, <laughs> only ones here that I've not had right. are Canadian Hunter, and Elijah Craig. Elijah Craig, and obviously Hibiki. You know, as the neophyte, I'd like to begin with the okay. Maker's Mark, because uh, that's the one okay. I'm most familiar with. So okay, get, well, let me take care of you, gentlemen. I'll get my whiskey legs. So this going. is, Maker's Mark is my, like, this is the first bourbon I ever had. Same. Very much like a very good cheap bourbon, and it, this is just kind of where I started. Uh-huh. And uh, we'll have it neat. Uh, I may bust out the simple syrup, maybe we'll, we'll if, if something's a little too strong for anybody. And I've got these very fancy. <laughs> this these are tulip uh, whiskey glasses. So what I'm gonna do, and I'm just gonna get, we're just gonna do a tasting here. I'm just gonna give everybody just a little bit. Thank you. Just a just a little scotch. And. Uh, I'll show you guys how to properly drink whiskey. <laughs> so, this is maybe like a shot and a half, two shots of, of bourbon. So basically what you're going to want to do, the reason for this, the reason it's shaped this way, is because you can give a good swirl to it. And you can go hard. Give it a good, incorporate some air into it, right? Good swirl, maybe we'll get a little bit of this ASMR. What does the air do to it? So it changes just molecularly. It changes the flavor profile once air or water is introduced. Yep. Give it a you know, give it a round swirl. Don't, don't be shy about it. Give a little tornado. There you go. Okay. And what I want you to do is take a sip. You know, let's let's cheers. Cheers, cheers. gentlemen. And uh, take a sip. Breathe through your nose as you're drinking it. It's strong, right? It's bourbon. So it is strong. But, again, the important thing is to breathe through your nose. I think a lot of people, when they're drinking bourbon, they don't breathe through their nose. <laughs> they, like, just breathe out of their mouth. Because like, it's... Like they're in a bathroom. Yeah, it's, like, strong. So, like, that's that's your sort of body's natural implication, but you're not going to taste it fully. You're not going to get all the notes out of it. If you, uh... And if you want to... If it's a little too strong, pour a little of your water in there. We can give you a little simple syrup if you want to. You like doing that, don't you? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> you enjoy that. I feel like a uh, radio. Feel fancy, though. don't you? <laughs> <laughs> it, it, I mean, it's a gentleman's drink. Treat it with respect. You know, treat it with respect. It's a, it's a gentlemanly drink. My dog is sneezing profusely in the background. <laughs> and, uh, you know. And what I'll do every now and then is uh, I'll even, like, swish it around. In my mouth. I, I, yeah, I was actually uh, drinking recently with Ronald, 
Yeah. And I was I was switching around. He's like, How the fuck are you doing that? How the fuck are you doing that? Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's yeah, good. I, I enjoy I the taste. Like, the yeah, I get that a lot. Yeah. Uh, do you know if that's good for your teeth or anything? Or I mean, it's probably it's alcohol. Though. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's all bad it's for mouthwash. <laughs> yeah. So, but but like I said, you know, and maybe I will break out the simple syrup just to just to knock off some of this uh, some of this sharpness. But I do like the bottle. I mean, that's uh, I love the bottle. So interesting fact about Maker's Mark: these are all hand dipped. <laughs> Still, Real? still, people yeah. literally when the bottle is sealed, they literally dip it by hand in wax. <laughs> It's, it's super inefficient, but Maker's Mark still does it to this day. It's funny. I was actually, I went on their merchandise uh, store, and they get, that's, that's their thing. They got so much bullshit that's just hand-dipped. It's like, you want a hand-dipped decanter? <laughs> a hand uh, a hand-dipped rocks glass? It's like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> and it's like their actual rocks. It's like the rocks glass that you buy is like 15 bucks. The, the hand-dipped one is like 25 It's like an extra $10 for like a hand-dipped bullshit. <laughs> So I mean, so so what do you think? What do you, what do you, what, what's your impressions of? Mark I like it. I, I'm getting. What notes are you getting? Hot, strong, <laughs> hot. I'm notes. getting strong alcohol. Oh, it tastes like uh, liquor. Yes, yeah, so this is forty five percent alcohol distilled. That's still by volume. Forty five percent APV. Where did I get citrus? I get I get a yeah, little I, citrus. I, I've, been, I've, I've always gotten citrus with Maker's yeah, Mark. Yeah, see, like, the big thing for me about this and Knob Creek, which I think we'll maybe have next, is I get like almost a pecan pie kind of note out of it, mm-hmm. like almost a molasses note, like a syrupy kind of thing. I guess I don't know. That that's I actually agree. The more I smell, yeah, yeah, I get it more out of Knob Creek than I do out of Maker's Mark, but. So when do you drink this drink? When when is like when this is comes? just whenever? <laughs> yeah, this is this is a good like everyday kind of chilling. You know, like I'm just kind of relaxing, playing a game. This is next to me, you know, and I'll just you know be leaning back on the couch. That's 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 basically how I do it. Like, you know, just, just relaxing, relaxing, acting all cool. I'm just the kind of person I don't really drink socially because because yeah. I I just never did that when I was younger, but. Yeah. But now, like, especially, like, when I'll just start drinking, like, when I get sick. Like, I'll just get orange juice. When you get sick? Yes. Why? Because, I mean, I, I get tequila, <laughs> yeah. and then I get, like, orange juice, yeah. and then I just start mixture? pouring it, and that's a tequila I mean, sunrise. I was about to say it's a tequila uh, sunrise. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, I, I tell myself I'm going to feel better in the morning. <laughs> oh, no. But, it's the way the cowboys But it kind of makes me feel better. Like, I get my <laughs> orange juice, I get, you know, the alcohol is going to open up my, my nerves a little bit yeah. more. But I, I really should just stick with, you know... Medicine? medicine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This was the medicine back in the day. That's true. But it, it makes me feel... It makes me go to sleep easier. I don't, you know... It That's makes fair. me breathe a little bit more better. That's fair. No, I mean... I mean, look, it was good for the Cowboys. Hey. Shit. Maker's <laughs> Mark is kind of like our go-to. Though, this is... This is so actually, our banner on YouTube is a bottle of Maker's yeah. Mark. Like, it's like a pixelated bottle of Maker's Mark. Have you Mark reached there. out to them? Uh, yeah. No, although... That'd Although I don't they, know if I said this on the podcast. Or all they can say or, is no. The um, the uh, the fact that uh, that I got the bottle made. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We we talked about that. We did. Yeah. Yeah. We, so we're Maker's Mark ambassadors, Todd and I. Yeah. And we uh, we joined their ambassadors program, and they allow you to stamp a barrel with whatever name you want. Oh really? So there's a barrel in like Kentucky with nerd bourbon on it. Yeah. <laughs> and you, I got one with my actual my actual like Todd Sturgeon or whatever, but then I'll be able to like you can just sit there and go to the actual distillery. Yeah, anytime we wanted to, we could go to the distillery and get a free tour. Yeah. Kentucky. Yeah. Yeah. When are you guys going? <laughs> I don't know. Shit, why not? I want to go. That's make the thing. A, we make, go to Kentucky. Make, make a trip out of it. Yeah. Huh? That's where our granny lives. You'll meet our granny. Are we ever going to so. keep the barrel? Like it's like we Well, they well they, they'll so they'll give you a bottle. They'll uh-huh. actually let you dip it yourself. And it'll and it'll say nerd bourbon on it instead of Maker's Mark. I'll say nerd bourbon. Yeah. How, so. so you guys are real ambassadors. Of, mm-hmm. How'd that go? It's just something you sign up. It's like it, you just sign up yeah. for it. It's no big deal or anything. But they, like after like six weeks, they'll send you. Yeah, I got like a, a packet. I got a little packet. I had like a little like a pin I put on my bag. Yeah. All righty. You got the mint julep pin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You got that too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What'd you do? With it? It's somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> So, but yeah, so Maker's Mark is, is a good good starter, good starter whiskey. I would like to have um, some Maker's 46. Yeah, Maker's 46 is good, too. That's the kind of more high-end Maker's Mark. That's you know I what I'm going to do? I'm going to grab the simple syrup, just in case 
this starts getting a little too ridiculous on uh, us. I mean, I'm fine. I'm fine too. I mean, like, I'm I'm fine right now. Here's the thing. I'm looking forward to trying the shit I haven't tried, like Elijah Craig, can, uh, right. Canadian Hunter. Because I don't mind that preak. I actually. Well, just... how, how, how about this, Todd? Let's let's go to Canadian Hunter next. All right. Now, um, the first thing I know is it looks like piss. It does. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is not the amber color that I'm used to. This this is not going to be good. I can already tell you this is not going to. Well, be here's good. the thing: I've never, I've like never really experienced uh, like yeah, Crown so, Royale, like like Canadian whiskey in general. So things. this is a Canadian whiskey. Yeah. And uh, this is really, I think we mostly bought it because the label is is like cool. It's like Baltimore. And also, it's like we're gonna have like at least might as well have a little bit of uh, representation. Yeah, I guess so. Good, you know, everybody's represented here <laughs> on their bourbon. It doesn't smell good. It smells like a sour mash. Oh yeah. I mean, it's like yeah, let, it's, let Dan smell it. As let someone Dan who doesn't it. drink, like, what is whiskey like in terms of the alcohol family? Um, so, so do you do you want to know like like the what's differences the difference? between it and like, like it's the preparation? Well, it's, well, it's, yeah, it's another thing. It's like not all like so we're drinking. Most of these are bourbons. Yeah, these are bourbons. They're also rye whiskeys. Yeah, so like so, so it's like not every like. All bur- all, it's like, it's like that whole like phrase with like uh, it's like it's basically all bourbon is whiskey, but not all whiskey is bourbon, sort right. of thing. It's true. Yeah, it's true. So should do you think I should like wash these between? I part of me is like you. Sh- I feel you like should, I should because you don't want to like. I should at it. least rinse them out. Yeah, a little, yeah, little, little rinse little, out. Little, 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 let's give them a little rinse. I can I can edit this out. <laughs> so let's let, let me uh, let me oh. just pass them to me. I can pass them back. I got this nice little bar here. In the palatial Herb Urban Studios. <laughs> you bought these? Yeah. It looks like someone made them. Yeah. Good yeah. way. We got a printer and everything over here. Oh, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> got a printer and everything. <laughs> like an official office. <laughs> Actually, right, this cool. is Nerd Urban Tower South. Yes, it is. Tower South. <laughs> <laughs> Let me grab the uh, simple syrup just in case. What do you mean? What? <laughs> just in case. I just don't want it. I don't want us to bite off more than we can chew. That's all. That's for just a simple shape you get. You get. So that's actually. So somebody gave me that. My buddy Andy gave me that. Um, and it's just my own simple syrup. Oh, you, yeah. I don't say. I don't buy simple syrup. Why would you? Because it's fucking water and sugar, Todd. That's all it is. The only th- the only reason you'd buy simple syrup is just out of convenience. No. Well, no, not even that. How inconvenient is it for you to mix water and sugar? It'd be alright. Be like, uh, what was it, the first Men in Black? Where you wanted, like, sugar water or whatever? Oh. Anyway. <laughs> That's it's a funny, reference. Funny, as I saw a good meme about that. Did you really? No, with that, with that guy. So I'm just going to do a little bit of this, because I don't think it's going to be good. Yeah, I don't think it's Look at how pale that is. Yeah, it's going to be bad. That doesn't just, look just good. Give me, just give me about the same. I'll... Yeah, that, that, that's just a little... What, what do you want, Dan? You want a lot of it? How about I just dump this whole fucking bottle in here? <laughs> give me a little more. You give me, like, nothing, right? Okay. I, I, Come on, okay. It looks, it looks like you've nothing that's so goddamn I'm pale. on a journey here. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to go to Canada. All right, so are we are we cheersing between... What's, what's the etiquette here? Should we cheers between well, each we, drink? We should cheers to something different. Like, like oh, okay. Well, this is not the good stuff, so we shouldn't <laughs> cheers to anything like super important. This but, does not smell good. Like, cheers to. This smells like just straight rubbing alcohol. Yeah, it does. There, I get no notes off of this whatsoever. That's the thing. I'm, I'm like, because honestly, when I first smelled it, I was like, I don't smell. I feel well. like I'm about to just legit drink rubbing alcohol right now. Yeah, that's good. That's what this smells like. Let's give it a go. Cheers to Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Cheers to the Wild West. <laughs> Cheers to the Rockstar employees. <laughs> Man, we're like, what is up with that story though? Like, it, like, I mean, like, on one it's hand, common practice. Um, yeah. It, on one hand, like, yeah, that sounds like it sucks, but like, yeah. as long as you're still getting paid, it's not like the crunch is new. Is it's, it awful? Well, it it's, sounds awful. It is awful. I mean, I mean, think about it. When you're sitting, they're talking about hundred hour weeks of just sitting. At a desk, staring into a screen. But that's like not a like, surprise. Can we talk about like what this is like heavy. Like, it's, heavy? it's heavy on the tongue. Is it? So I haven't drank it. Like, you, like, yeah. like the moment, like what? It's, like, it's got a weight to it. Like, ew! <laughs> it's got like a weight to it, doesn't it? It's sweet. <laughs> no. Ooh, that's weird. I don't know if I like that. So what, what, what does what? that taste like? It almost tastes like bubble gum. Bubble gum. 
I got a bubble gum taste. Maybe off my of taste buds are just fried from like eating sunflower <laughs> seeds today, but I do what I don't know. I got a bubble it's gum. One, taste. It's, one, it's one of those uh, tongue coating ones. Mm-mm. I might have to actually do a palate cleanse. Mm-mm. No, it's not bad though. Like I mean, it's bad, but it's when like when you can have that shit. <laughs> like here's the thing, I'll just drink it to get fucked up. I don't care. You can have that. You yeah. can take that home with you. Oh, Lord. I'm good. I'll just, I'll just, uh, you know what? You know what it is. I've been actually sitting there like I, I, should, I need alcohol in that hotel. No, there you go. It's bad. You okay? I'm sl- I'm yes, of it's course. an orchestra of like snoring. It, it was the cat that made me cough. Not drink. <laughs> Are you allergic to cats? No. Oh, okay. But I was about to say, I'm sorry. No. Dang. <laughs> Cause my own lie. <laughs> It is a little too sweet, though. Like I'm, I don't I'm, like it. I'm not about it. It has a cough syrup kind of taste to it. I don't like it. Damn, you're right. I don't like it. You know, let me just... <laughs> just down the whole bottle. I mean, I'll take it. Just, just yeah, you can it. have it. Yeah. Uh, so, let's see. So, so well, are you going to put them in order, I guess? I mean, we, can, we can rank that's them. That's dead ass too. if they bought them, though, so far. So, let's go... So, Jim Beam is another, like, kind of classic... Like every like, it's good. It's like a, it's, it's whatever. It's, it's a like staple it. kind of thing. It's fine. Jim Beam's good. Mm-hmm. Um, Knob Creek is a little more interesting. Knob Creek is another like kind of cheaper uh, mm-hmm. whiskey that I really like. Yeah, actually, small batch here. What does that mean? Um, it means that it was just, you know, it, it was part of a smaller batch of barrels. You know, like it, it's not in a mass distillery. Yeah. So a little more care was put into it. I That's guess. what they say. It's just I mean, bullshit. Not but. Bad. <laughs> this is just an excuse to uh this is a hundred proof. Yeah, it's the one I kept next to me and I was just drinking out of the bottle. Uh for the last like week before I Literally got this? Yeah. Yeah. What were you doing while you're drinking? Just drinking. Touch my dick a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was like play GTA online or oh, I haven't played that game in like forever. But when you did But when you did A lot of money oh. was lost. Yeah, a lot yeah, of sharp yeah, cards. Yeah, we don't talk about that. It's a good yeah. time. <laughs> I remember you. I forget last time we were talking about video games. Like we were talking about Overwatch, and like he's like, "Oh man, those loot boxes." Uh, I, those get I, loot. I've spent a lot. Of money I, here's on, the thing: yeah. I finally reached the point now where I legitimately don't care about that game. So like, I jumped on there, I looked at the new shit, and I'm like, eh, whatever. Yeah, I mean, I'm still interested. Like, I still want the skins, but like now I'm kind of like, okay, I don't need to. Might have spent money. Yeah, I, I might as well just wait till next year when they're like cheaper exactly. to actually just play the game because yeah. I'm, I'm so behind on that game. It's, I, I like well, that I, Well, I definitely do not want the Canadian Hunter to taint. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna be rinsing this one out too. Ooh. And actually, I think we can just probably reach over here. Just do it like that. <laughs> Todd just grazed my ass with his hand. Are you, are you that wasted already? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yeah, you're <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, shit. You good? It's such it's a air. deep... <laughs> oh, excellent year. The air with the water. Excellent year. Oh. Okay. Mm. Probably... I, I actually really enjoy Knob Creek. Probably the most on-brand episode of Nerd Bourbon we've done so far. Yeah. No, we've never actually, I don't think, drank on the show. Uh, Is that true? I think we thought is, about it. One so time. the only time we've ever drank is the like one of the first couple episodes is like kind of like a celebratory like we've we're doing it right <laughs> about it. All right, let me let me take care of you, sir. Thank you, sir. Well, I poured a little more for myself. <laughs> what what? So this is a bean. So this is Knob Creek. Not Knob Creek. I like that it comes with a cork. Yeah, I like that. I like, I like the smell of the cork. I like a good cork. <laughs> <laughs> like a good cork. All right, so what are we drinking to now? Um. Okay, so we, we drank to Rockstar. We drank to... To Telltale. To Telltale. <laughs> yeah, to Telltale, to Telltale, for real. <laughs> R.I.P. Yeah, that's sad. Yeah, no, no, no. Creep's a good one. I like it. Maybe you know, it's because it's compar- like it, fo- it follows Canadian hunger. I am. Um, <laughs> yeah, true. You know, Knob Creek's weird, because like... Like I said, it's got a little... It reminds me of, like, a pecan pie kind of taste, a molasses kind of taste. But it's also got, like, a weird, like, soapy taste to it. it Do does. you get that? Yeah, it does. I don't know. I That's, like it. It's one, of them, like, the, it's one of the main reasons, like, I, I, I kind of went back... I, I was fucking with Knob Creek for a little bit. Yeah. But it's just, like, Makers is just a little... Now, I will... You know, I will recommend, if you want to... This does change the pro- profile a little bit. This is why you cocktails know. are... You know, pour a little water in there, maybe. Do a little splash. 
And that will change the flavor profile of it a bit. And that's why an essential ingredient, of course, in all cocktails is water. Ooh, that actually made it better. Mm-hmm. Because half the time with me, I just drink it just straight. I just See, that it opens it up. Yeah. I mean, it does. Like, the water makes a difference. Yeah, Ollie's going to be annoying this Ooh. whole time. He wants a drink. <laughs> Let them get shit. One thing I like about one thing I like about Knob Creek that I like makers doesn't do for me is it it hits like my whole mouth. Right. It actually goes into my nose. Yeah. It like fully yeah. just goes into yeah. my nose. I like that too. Ear, nose, and throat department. <laughs> <laughs> really relate this to, to nursing in any way possible. <laughs> <laughs> so how's that going? How, how's it going? As a adapting. As a as a what? As a graduate. As a graduate, how's the post grad life going? It's it's fun because I don't know what my day really has in store. Uh, it's not what I thought I would be doing. I, I didn't think I'd be actually doing contract. I thought I would be at a clinic or a hospital or something with more like structure. But right, technically, in the eyes of the government, I'm self employed. So it's kind of. I mean, I go to schools. Uh, I, I ask, "Hey, is the kid here?" Oh no, they're absent, or oh, they left. They leave early. They they leave late, or yeah. So once I get a handle of where all the kids are at, um, I mean, if I the more I see, the more I get paid. I don't really get so you, paid. So you work with kids specifically? Pediatrics, yeah. Okay. So middle school, elementary, high school, um, special ed. You know, kids with you know, who are you know without special needs, but they mm. have certain conditions, and I mean the. What they teach you at school isn't, they don't teach you everything because yeah. they can't, you know. But Yeah, they can't fully that's, that's prepare impossible. you for yeah. what's, what's going to be in the field, yeah. It's fun. I mean, I'm tracking all my miles because apparently, like, once I... Pay for your mileage. I, yeah, that's well, cool. my company won't, but yeah, it, I'll get reimbursed. Get a write-off or what? Yeah, like, it's like something crazy where it's like for, like, I get reimbursed like 55, 50 cents per mile. So, hmm. I mean, that's something. Why don't I smell shit from Jim Bing? And it's sad because, like, uh, I'm contract, so <laughs> they don't. It's like almost like fucking nothing. They don't take the taxes out yet, so I have to like tax myself. Right. Or do you like do you smell anything with that? Yeah, it's I not do. strong. I it's, smell I mean, it's, little. It's not. I mean, it's there, but it's so, like not enough that I, I like. like it. Like I, the last time I had Jim Beam was uh, at my sister's housewarming, and I was like already like pretty fucking toasty. So, Your sister like, has a house. Uh, apartment. All right, so, yeah, that's really cool. Yeah. So the, the thing about Jim Beam, that, well, the thing about this particular bottle of Jim Beam, I bought this because it was part of a, like, Christmas box oh. that we had at the store. And what did it have with it? Jim Beam? Well, well here's, it was, it was this fifth of Jim, uh, Jim Beam, and it was two glasses, two, like, high, highball glasses. Okay. And uh, when it first came, it was, like, $30 or $40, something like that, and then we got it marked down to $11 oh, Lord. to get the fifth and the two glasses, oh, so, damn. so I bought one. So, like, I don't mind Jim Beam, but like when I remember, but it's just like, and I was kind of, oh, that's pretty toasty. So. <laughs> well, I do like how on the packaging here they've got seven generations of, of the, the Beam, Beam family. family. Well, so let's see. What's the oldest one? Jacob Beam. <laughs> 1760 to 1834. Then you have David. No, you have two David Beams. You have David Beam and David M. Beam. <laughs> and then you have Colonel James B. Beam. And then T. Jeremiah Beam, some dude named. This is where the beams disappear. <laughs> this is it's Booker No and Fred No. <laughs> where the um, beams disappear. I'm assuming they had a daughter. <laughs> so speaking of names changing, right, we're still Seth Sturgill, right? Mm -hmm. I'm Seth Hicks now. Oh no! Oh. Sorry, no, 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 no. Yeah, she's gonna take my last name. I was just wondering because, yeah. like, because, like, both of you guys are like. Are, are you, you gonna hyphen? No, I don't think so. <laughs> you know, I honestly was thinking about that because, like, the thing, I was talking to this one girl, like, way back when, and now she's married to, like, some other person. We never met. We were just talking. This mm -hmm. was, like, six years ago. And I noticed they got married and they had, like, a nice wedding. But I noticed the guy, like, took her last name, but she didn't take... Some people do that. Like, it's like I've, well, I've seen things where, like, they... Well, I've seen that, and then I've also seen where they, like, combine names. Yeah, like, well, is that, like, a Facebook thing, or is that, no, like... No, like, legit, I've seen a thing where they, they could, like, combine that's their an, names. That's annoying on Facebook. That but, is annoying. But, like, when I saw the guy take her first name, I was, like... It's, like, I was thinking, like, would I do that? Like, if I was in love, I was, like, 
I probably wouldn't agree to that. I'd probably say, like, I would... I could probably share well, your name, but I like, wouldn't get rid of my name entirely. What that's going to boil down to is, like, do you give a shit about your name? Yeah. Like, it's like, I, do you I, have I was pride in your last name? name? Like, so, I think, yeah, I think it boils down to the pride behind your last name and wanting to carry forward your legacy with your, like, with your name. Like, what if I was going to change my last name to, like, Trump, then, yeah. I mean, <laughs> right. then I would agree right. hardly, but... <laughs> <laughs> Without question. Just bring on that good Trump legacy. <laughs> but, no, I... I I think it just boils down to what, what your name means to you. And, like, for me, I honestly wouldn't really care if it weren't for my attachment to, like, Todd and my grandpa my papa. Yeah. yeah. They're the only reasons, really, that the Sturgill name, like, means a lot to me. So, I... <laughs> <laughs> so, for, for that reason, I'm like, I, I want to carry forward his legacy through me. Right. And, in turn, I want my children to carry my legacy yeah. through the name, too. So, that I think that's ultimately why. I've never met a Sturgill... Like before you guys, like no, it's not. So that's a pretty, pretty, it's not that's like that common of no. like a last so, name. So I mean, that's pretty cool. Funny story. My buddy Joey, who used he just recently moved to Florida, but he used to live around here and he was a bartender around here. He came into the store one night wearing this jersey, and on the back of it, it said Sturgill, uh-huh. spelled exactly like mine. And and I was like, I was like, what? I was like, is that your last name? And he goes, he goes, yeah, dude. It's like mine too. This is weird. We whipped out each other's IDs, and, and I, I was like, "Like, where's your family from? He's like, oh, my family's from, like, Tennessee. I was like, I have family in Kentucky, but they're all, like, Cornets. Yeah, it's, you like, know? it's like, there's, the only Sturgill is, like, you know. <laughs> it, it's they'd more be of a, in West it's Virginia. It's more of a Virginia yeah. thing, yeah. So, uh, it was just, it was odd. Like, I'd never met another Sturgill before in my life, but he just so happened to be in Leesville, Louisiana. Yeah, that's, that's just a like, really good coincidence. It's weird. I don't know. Probably no relation at all. <laughs> No real relation, but it was just it was just weird to the point where I think your mom was like, "Who's Joey Sturgill?" Yeah. <laughs> How do we know him? Do oh, we do we wash uh, these? I don't feel like we need to rinse this one out. So we didn't rinse. This I did. We like, did. well, I just put like some water in there and then I drank. That's from a good it. call. You know that's yeah, a good that's call. a good idea. So we don't. Have to I'm get sick the of fuck getting up. Yeah, it's some real shit. I'm too fat for that. <laughs> I drink a lot of water. So do I. Day. Yeah, so do I. I drink like six bottles. I, I kill at least one of those huge yeah. smart waters every yeah. day. My, work. I'm all my classmates are saying, you're killing trees, you're killing this. I, every time I'd come to school with a whole paper, plastic bag full of water bottle, it. <laughs> you could buy a Yeti with that, you could, you know. Well, they have a point, but I mean, they're like, right, but it's like, shut I'm, up. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. Okay. But everyone's There's, doing good. It's Everyone. a little stronger, actually, when you get it in a... Give it a little bit of a nose. Mm. Ooh. Now, I like these, too, because you can kind of tip it and, like, look at the color and just kind of admire it. Oh, yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, like I said, <laughs> pay, pay it the respect it deserves. You know? Shadow, again, Jim Beam is, like, a fine... It's a fine... You're right. It does, the smell did intensify mm-hmm. in the glass. Ooh. The nose got stronger, for sure. It's got a good... Mm. Jim Beam, to me, has a caramel sort of taste to it. Like, I taste, I taste kind of, I, it reminds me of, like, a caramel corn kind of thing. What, Jim Beam, that's, that's the note I get from it. Yeah. A little sour. It does have a sourness to it. It's good, though. I always like Jim Beam. He's gonna fuck, he, he's, he's so annoying. Mm-hmm. He's a good boy, but he's annoying. Should have put him in the bedroom, but he would be meowing the whole time. Very sad cat. <laughs> That's a really nice baby, hey, what, man. What should we toast this to? Even though That's true. We should, what so should we toast this to? So tell Taylor <laughs> We've been toasting the sad things. <laughs> uh, what's some good news that happened? What is some good news? We can toast to our president. <laughs> I'll toast to the president. You gotta respect yeah. the office. You know, to, to the president. To the, one, to the one true king. Hey. <laughs> Seriously. In North Korea? How many missiles have flown? <laughs> None. Zero. Uh, no more of that. To the wall. <laughs> <laughs> MAGA. <No. laughs> I'm, I might try to put him away on. We'll no worries. No. Whew. What's the temperature like here socially? Since, since I mean, you, you small talk people all the time. Like, mm-hmm. like is this like even pro, politically? Yeah, is this like pro Trump? Mm-hmm. I mean, are people even talking about Bethel all the way up here? At, at so the thing about Louisiana, 
we have a very big black community too. Mm-hmm. And as you could imagine, a lot of black folks are not pro Trump. <laughs> right. So we we there's a good mix. I mean, there's a lot of white folks here too that are. It, it's weird. It is kind of a racial thing. Because like some of them, you know, like like the black people are definitely, you know, they're they're definitely anti Trump. It's weird, man. Because we we have a strong. Down here, like in my area specifically, a strong black community and a growing, like I was telling you earlier, a growing Mexican community. Neither of them like Trump. Mm-hmm. You know? So, I don't know. I get just as many people who are talking about, like our tax our tax percentage went down recently. Hey, isn't that good news? Well, that's, it is good news. But they're, they're um, you know, like, so there'll, there'll be a guy who comes in like, fucking Trump, hell yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and, uh... But then there's there's just as many folks who are you know bad mouthing them when they come in, so a lot of people keep their politics to themselves. Okay. Less than they used to. It, you know we we didn't used to we didn't used to talk about who we were voting for and this that and the other. I think it's uh, I mean Got a good I always thought Twitter was like like the third string. You know I thought it was like it was all Ooh. about Facebook, and then after that it was all like well, Instagram's part of Facebook. I now. enjoy what I'm smelling here. Elijah Craig's a good one. Mm. I enjoy Elijah Craig quite a bit. I was on the fence about Elijah. I was going to buy, when I went to see you, Dan, recently, I was going to buy Elijah Craig for us to drink. And I wound up getting Buffalo Trace. I remember Buffalo being pretty good. It was good. Buffalo Trace is good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is also a small batch. Supposedly. This, First this one char- has a, This one has a darker color. Yeah, no, that's because the Elijah Craig chars their oak barrels. Ooh. The first, the first company to char their oak barrels. They're very proud of that. Oh, wow. They burn so, it like char. Yeah, they yeah, char they the, the So a big, a big part of what the flavor comes from is the wood that the that the barrels. So, are, am I gonna get like? From. Am I gonna get a smokiness from this? So yeah, you're gonna get a little bit of a smoky okay. note to this. Um, <laughs> there, there is a such a thing. So Jim Beam actually has something called the Devil's Cut probably seen that on the shelf yeah yeah I have. there there's a phraseology so uh so when 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 you distill whiskey in a barrel there's always a little bit of an evaporation that happens you always end up losing a yep. good percentage of it from evaporation and that's called the angel share right and then the uh it's almost like like the angels are taking they're, they're the angels are taking their bit or whatever you know what i mean and then there's the devil's cut, which is the bottom kind of residue at the bottom of the barrel. That we drink. So, um, so anyway, so all of these little things are what make, you know, bourbon or scotch. Or I rye. honestly feel like this just has the best like uh, aroma to it mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. far. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Elijah Craig is a very very solid bourbon. Very very solid. Oh yeah. We didn't toast yet. Great. Yeah. What what are we toasting this one to? Where's, so, the, where's the top? Telltale. Toast? Okay. Rockstar. Trump. <laughs> what else? What else? What else is there? To James Gunn. That, you know, <laughs> what, you know, how do you feel about that, Todd? Yeah. What's your opinions on? Did we talk about that on the podcast? What of him like with the whole DC thing? Or? Did we? Oh, we didn't talk about the DC thing. Oh, for well, sure. I, I think it's dumb as shit. That they I think that's him. so terrible. I mean, yeah, it's like you, I, I am actually kind of worried about uh, Guardians Three. Now. Well, today they announced that it's being pushed. The production, not the movie, but the production of the movie is being pushed all the way. Earliest is twenty twenty one, which crazy. means that we're gonna get it at twenty twenty two. That's maybe. fucking crazy to me. And it's like, dude, like... Movie. Well, it's like, the thing that blows my mind about it, again, I've said it, is just like, everything that came out was shit that was already known about. Like... Oh, yeah. Like, dude, he apologized for that shit, like, before. It was, and, like, you know, I, I always... Apologies mean very little nowadays because, like, people... Like, it's so easy for the public to hold people to the fire. Yeah. So when, you know, Tiger Woods... That shit's gonna sneak up on you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It sneaks up on you. So when Tiger Woods apologizes, you know, it doesn't really mean much because it's like, oh, you're just saying that because, you know, you want to get back yeah. you know, to doing what you're doing. But he already, like, his actions, you know, he, before he got punished or whatever, he's, you know, he, I thought he redeemed himself. I mean, they're, yeah. they're dumb jokes. I, I mean, and honestly, I'm kind of upset that you should probably, you should probably had, someone should have had the sense to tell him that yeah. you should probably just... Pick up your laundry. Go ahead and just delete that. Delete now. that. Now you're working for Disney. Serves well, no it's, purpose. I I think if it's okay to make a shitty joke like that, 
and to delete it, it's like whatever. But it's it's to own it. Own your fucking mistakes. It's like who gives a shit? You can still do that, and then you can have your cake and eat it too. Yeah. Either way, I see it. But like, and then I used to I I follow him on Twitter. So and I guess does he does he like post too much? No, I didn't think he, so. He stopped posting. There's yeah. nothing. He doesn't like anything. And he's kind of gone dark. Yeah. His wife kind of made some comments about like, oh, he's kind of hurt right now. I and imagine so. Is he's probably. I mean, it's probably healthier for him to, like, get away from all this. I, I like that he talked to the fans, but, I mean, as someone, you know, who's more conservative. Yeah. Uh, you know, he would bash Trump, and, like, on a few points I agree with him, and on a few points I thought, you know, it was, like, making mole, you know, mountains right. out of mole hills. But, right, right. What's well, oh. But it's like, when you're... We know, are we going to get political? No. <laughs> <laughs> Not to get political, but, like, like, when you pick fights with people... You know, over politics, you know, it, it's going to get ugly really fast. And especially when you're on the internet, you know, people yeah. feel like they can get away with a lot. And then that's what started it. I'm not saying it was right for them to fire him over those tweets. But no, but everybody, we're, we live in an age now where everybody is, has should, a voice. You should... Uh, a clean, loud voice. Clean up your dirty yeah. laundry. You know, why you, why you leave so much ammunition for... Yeah. People who disagree with you, especially to, when you're drawing a paycheck from the Disney company. Some real shit. I, I will agree <laughs> with that. Yeah, you know. I, I, I honestly, I, I hate the 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 playing dumb act that they're having. It's like, well, we yeah. found these tweets. I was like, like, don't you guys like? If I wanted to work at Disney World, like, won't you guys go through my right. social media presence to tweets. find out if I'm like some crazy, you know, this or that? He's like, you would. No, you weird. don't do that with your directors. And then also, it's like, have you not seen his like previous body of work? So like, playing dumb <laughs> doesn't buy, doesn't doesn't fly with me. I think, I mean, not to sound like a tinfoil hat or anything, but I mean, there's more to the story. You know, and there probably is. he gets fired like a week after he turns in his draft. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. there there probably is something. Maybe he was getting a little too expensive. Maybe, you know, maybe, maybe he was asking for too much. Well, Guardian's making that sweet, sweet money. I, I yeah. mean, I don't I mean, want to really. sound too yeah. desperate, but, like, I hope that with all this extra time, I'm kind of glad. Which sub-franchise of the Marvel movies do the best? I mean, Guardians is up there. Exactly, that's like, what I'm saying. Guardians is one of the top, you know, top grossing. There's ones. a Disneyland. I can look that up, actually. A Disney World ride now. Yeah. based on Is it really? Guardian. Yeah, Guardians. They replaced the... What was that? that Tower of Terror. Right? Tower of Terror. Yeah, and they Tower made it a... Uh... Tower of Terror shit. Whoa! <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Tower of Terror is awesome. What? Are you kidding me right now? I, I was a big fan. Oh no, Todd. Ooh. Oh no, we're about to have a civil <laughs> war up in here. <laughs> so I want to see if I can find a list of like the top grossing... I will say, in the light of day, face-to-face... I still love Captain America Civil War. I like it too. But but yeah, like as more time passes I can see like the points that you guys are making that it's not the end all be all yeah, MCO it. movie, MCU movie and uh, Don't get me started on why every time I see an article that's like the best movies of this year, it's like Black Panther. Get the fuck out of here. So wouldn't that, wouldn't that Yeah, be? Black Panther you also had issues. <laughs> this is being recorded, you better watch it. Here's the thing. It's a good movie. If anyone, it's not though, the best Marvel. It's hard movie, for though. me to find flaws in the Infinity so, War. Like Guardians, I, Guardians has done well. So like Guardians two made eight hundred sixty three million dollars worldwide. Only, yeah, <laughs> only a mere eight hundred sixty. And that's not first, even, that's not even counting all the baby. There's like three baby Groots inside this room right now. <laughs> By the way, I will I will not be censored. So I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was just kidding. So and then the first one did seven hundred seventy three million. So this is basically. This is basically a two billion dollar franchise yeah. with two. That's movies. Not even, honestly. So, so what did you actually think about Black Panther? Um, I I I mean the movie's carried mm-hmm. by the villain very very. Oh, yeah. I like yeah. Black Panther better in Civil War because I oh, yeah, like, I I honestly thought he was way better in Civil War. And then uh, uh, Black Panther's just he's cooler. He's cooler when there's more mystery to him. Yeah, when I there's think. more mystique to him yeah. and like when he actually wants. I don't know. He had he had an arc in Civil War. And then here, yeah, he's winning from being a warrior to king to become a warrior king. Mm-hmm. But I mean, his sister's like more interesting than him. Yeah, his oh. his cousin's more interesting than him. You know, I wish I learned more about his mom. You know, and like the but timing. The, of it. So the characters you wanted to learn about, you didn't even really like his about dad. It. it was like, well, this dad, yeah. his dad's not a great guy. You know, but kind of piece of shit, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but. Well, that's the whole thing. It's like that—that that is the the point of that movie. It's just like you all, you fuckers, were all wrong. Mm-hmm. 
I like. I still like this. Uh, the message of the movie. Um, but I. So when Seth and I did the, uh, we did the ranking. I don't know if you ever. Listened I, I to did that. listen so, to it. That was the one. That straight was... up the middle ground. We it was dead ass in the middle, for us. From uh, Black Panther. Was, yeah, it was yeah. just dead ass in the middle. I will say. I agree with that. Some of my favorite parts because there's so much has already been said about Killmonger and uh, Michael B. Jordan. Yeah. Um, I I think he was one. I thought he no, was he, awesome. He was yeah, definitely. He was, he was. He was probably honestly one of the highlights. Top tier. You know, people people say like, oh, it goes down to like, you know, the heroes fighting a darker version of himself. Like that, it, it, you see it so often because it's just it, cool. It works. It's, it's just it's, cool. It's, it works. I'm definitely towing the line of like being fucked up. Right <laughs> <laughs> I'm just telling you. But, uh, I will, I will when, I, when I stood up, I was like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I will say like something that uh, I mean, it's not a hot take to say this. People like seeing superheroes actually rescue people. Like, that's one of my favorite things about the Flash TV shows that they show the Flash go into airplanes or cars and rescue people from, like, certain doom. Can I, I'm going to say one thing about uh, Killmonger or whatever. Uh-huh. I wish he didn't have, like, the with the golden jaguar or whatever the fuck I, I it was. Why not? I mean, I would have preferred if he had his own thing. Like, it was just... But then how would he put up a fight? I, I will say... Me, right? I will say, like, I wish it would have been... A little, I don't know how, he, how T'Challa would have survived it, but, like, it would have been cool if he, he went back... And he only had the suit, but he didn't have like the serum, mm. like the the the, that the power that, of the black that, that would have been baller. Yeah. He only had like his his wit and like the tech that sure provide, but he did, he wasn't the Black Panther until the end of the movie when he defeats Killmonger, mm. and then they, then he gets to have the plant. And then another thing I wish they did was like they showed more Wakanda because like they show these yeah, cool like I insect agree. like buildings, they show insect like ships. Yeah. It's like because oh. they clearly spent a lot of time like designing the yeah. the world and stuff. Like there's a map, like it's yeah. clearly mapped out, and like you know they have to use that map for Avengers. Like what, uh, like what's what's civilian life like? Because all they show is like the yeah market. we don't really see a lot of that. It's like it's street like, vendors. Like I thought it was really cool how they they like cultivated and raised like battle rhinos and stuff like that. I mean, I, I want to see more shit like that. Yeah, you know? it, it's it's funny. It's like what happened to that tribe. Like in a, like in the, the, they're not they kind of like not a thing in uh Infinity War. I mean, it, I guess yeah. I guess it's it's a good thing that we're talking about that sort of thing with the movie. Yeah. That like the movie had no time really to touch yeah, on that. That's but because we're still like wanting to that's know a more. thing because it's like they're not a, a thing strength. in the Infinity War. They're not a thing like at all. The Border Tribe. Or? Yeah, they're not a thing. Oh, well, like yeah. you don't see those shields. You know. <laughs> you yeah, see the shields. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah they hold I remember because it looked funny. It looked funnier. Like yeah, just a line like. And it's like, like that was that was. I will say that about it for you. like, okay, this is dumb. Like they're aliens. Like where's like the vibranium like yeah. actual like guns? Cause, yeah, like, that's that's one thing. Like for like them having like you know all the vibranium. The there's using, not a lot of vibranium spears and shit. Yeah, the, yeah. The only people using like guns was like Bucky. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I know. Uh, Bucky, right? Bucky, Maybe Bucky, Bucky that's the Bucky reason that we saw we answered our own question. Like they didn't want to like overshadow yeah. <laughs> the White Wolf. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's still cool, and uh, I still really like their relationship. Even like, even in Infinity War, even that brief moment where like Cap and Bucky see each other again. And stuff. Yeah, I love it. It's great. It's, like, yeah, I'm sure there's gonna be more. Who do you what's think? Your, who do you, who, who do you, now, now this is the thing. If if uh, Captain America dies in uh, Part Four, uh, I, or whatever, uh huh. Who do you think they're gonna go Takes with? Up the it's gotta be it's gotta be Bucky. See, that's what I'm, I mean, yeah, I think the thing it does is have could, to be Bucky. It, it does have to be Bucky, but they could easily do the bullshit where they just give it to uh, Sam. Sam, no. Sam would be the PC option. Sam would be the <laughs> PC option. But I, I think see them like there needs to be if 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 Captain America dies, there needs to be that like that moment with uh, Bucky and him. Mm-hmm. I, it's, Where it, it all has comes to be out Bucky because honestly, <laughs> honestly, like even in the comics, it's like it's like Falcon's not this strong. He's not like. Bucky has like his metal arm, right. and then he has his experiments. Yeah, on. yeah. Falcon's just some dude with like equipment. I mean, he, he, the thing is, he has the skill. Like, he does have the skill, like, to do that shit. But it's just like, I think it's fine, like, to have Falcon as Captain America or whatever. But I, I they've built up Bucky so much from the beginning of oh, the yeah. MCU. He needs the. Have he to. definitely has. To, I think he's definitely gonna take up the mantle in like uh, pre uh, after Infinity War. Yeah. Yeah, I was texting. Oh, back before I leave Black Panther completely, I, I, I was. Um, I really do like that. There were some. There's a lot of scenes at the end. Like my favorite. I think like the the scene that I really liked the most, besides like the villain stuff, was uh, at the end when like he he uh, exposes the uh, invisible jet at the end. Yeah, and, yeah. And 
and the the kids looking at the ship. Cool. Well, all the kids are focused on how cool the tech is, and then Cherry goes talk to talks to them, and the kid notices T'Challa, and he says, "Hey, you know, like, uh, is this your ship? Like, who are you? You know, like, and like, they made the kid like dress, and he looked exactly like." Like almost like Killmonger when he yeah, was, when that he was age. a kid. I yeah. actually didn't and realize that, that, but now that I'm yeah. thinking about it, that mm-hmm. is and, yeah. And like that's like uh, like when I saw that, and that's when the movie. That's when the movie. That's a, movie ends well, that's for that's real. that's a full circle moment. Yeah, it's like, yeah. It's like you know there was a mistake that was made, and I did you know not when I found out with it, I had to think about it a lot, and then I you know I sacrificed a lot to like write that. And then, right, you know, the circle stops here. Right, is, was that, and yeah. like that's why when he smiles, he's like, you know, like history's beginning with this new generation. Right, yeah. you know, again, which was I liked it a lot. I'm, I'm a big fan of subtext like that. It's 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 funny. It's like I haven't talked to Dan. I haven't talked to him in a while. No, so like I, I it's, <laughs> like, it's been shit. Yeah, it's been it hasn't been a years. Like me and you, me. No, like, it's been months though. It's been a couple months. It's like it's like me. Uh, me we play and Overwatch Jacob and playing, shit. Uh, like me and you're playing Destiny two for a little bit with uh, Jacob. Yeah, no. it's time for the the highlight of it tonight. Hibiki, Suntory whiskey. Just, 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 just keep that to yourself. We don't need that. We don't need that on That's me. a lot of loot boxes. Yeah, it's a lot of loot crates. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot of loot crates. That's a lot of good content guys, from our sponsors at Loot Crate. <laughs> man, I'm so done with loot crates and like, In ooh, general. investor crate. Ooh, horror crate. Let me get, let me get, let me get a whiff of this shit. Ooh, we need, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the nectar of the gods. Oh, fuck. Look at what it's done to the cork. <laughs> so suck on those. What are you getting from the gun portion? What, what are you getting from the the notes from the smell of it? I, I can't quite. I can't. I can't quite place it. It smells good though. I like it. I like what I'm smelling. Let's get to go here. It this is some top shelf shit. It smells it more maple. Quick. I like the glass. Can I just? I like the crystal glass. No, I love it. I love it. I like that. Oh my god! Just. Maple. Mm. I, I kind of agree with that. Like maple. A, a little bit of maple, yeah. It so smells like it's going to be strong. Oh, that's going to be good. Wait, wait. Well, we got to toast. If we're going to toast anything, Todd. It's a nerd bourbon. <laughs> Viva la... <laughs> nerd bourbon. <laughs> Can you believe we've done how much of this shit that we've done? I was looking at the hours, like the hour count. Take that shit. <laughs> How many hours? Like, what episode is this? 40? Whoa! <laughs> Holy shit! It's like Apple. Whoa! Like, like this is what I was telling you, Todd. With this, the really good bourbon, you can taste the wood. Oh, you don't, yeah. You can really taste... Remember when we had that Johnny Walker that your dad had? That scotch? You can taste the fucking... You can taste the wood. You can taste the barrel that it was in. I agree with that. Yeah. I... Uh, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> we killing that bottle. <laughs> I'm not going to kill the bottle. <laughs> I will. <laughs> Get alcohol poisoning and do that. What, so what's uh, the percentage there? 43? 43%. Yeah. It's smooth. Yeah, it's smooth. It's very smooth. Oh, that's good. Oh. I knew it was going to be the best. So I recently, on our SoundCloud, I went through and put everything into nice. Yeah, it actually fucked. Us. I forgot you did it, and it actually fucked with me when I was doing the uh, when so, I was doing the YouTube video. For, uh, uh-huh. eats. We did an East episode. Uh, on what? Uh, we did a chip episode. It was like a we had live, just a whole shit ton of chips. Yeah, like a live track. recording. It was the first. So live for the recording. main show, so Sorry. the main show alone, seventy four hours and fifty two hey, minutes wow. of content. Of content. Just on the main show. Editing. Just on the main show alone, that's what. Bad. Like shots is like fucking like fifteen in it. Shots hey guys, were like more than that. sixteen. Sixteen, at track, all. 16 tracks, about eight hours. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of content that we've done. That's a lot of content. Well, that, dude, that doesn't even take into account like on the YouTube end of things. Like we're just like the fucking all the let's like, plays, the let's plays and, and shit. Yeah. Oh my god. It, sometimes I just look at it. With that's just, something I want to do. I want to do an Alien Isolation playthrough because uh-huh. I've never played it. Really? I've never played it. I, you know, I thought, I, you know, because I no. Actually, before this, Dan, this is the real question: Have you beat Uncharted Four yet? 
Uh, no. <laughs> That's so crazy to me, dude. dude I can't believe that that's, you have not... that, that's the cra- that, that's I, crazy to me, dude. I came in Uncharted so fucking late. Late. I play I, the first time I ever played it were like the, uh, the is there the collection. A, is there a PlayStation Pro like like upgrades with uh, Uncharted Four? Because I know the Pro came after Uncharted Four. It did. Well, yeah, they uh, they've updated it for Pro, I believe. Yeah. I think I want to get a Pro before like I start. You don't this. have a Pro yet? No. What I, the I, fuck are you doing? I still man? have the base 2014. I'm gonna. I almost, <laughs> I, almost, I, almost feel, <laughs> I almost feel like it's a little bit of a waste for you to do that, though. Well, yeah, actually. You're going to be having a PS5 probably yeah. in the next two years. Yeah. People keep saying that. and like 2020 is going to be the year. I I, th- I I agree, though. And you can take that to the bank. But like, if you can get it cheap, why not? But, like... I don't know what I'm going to do with my regular PS4. I think I'll just buy a PS4 Pro and then and then there's, sell my regular PS4. There's already been several indications that Sony is going backwards compatible with PlayStation 5. So, I mean, I, it's going to still play your PS4 games, I'm sure. I hope it, so. It's fucking better. I'm, I'm going to, better. to digital now. Oh, yeah. yeah. You're going full yeah. digital? Yeah, it's like, dude, I'm I pretty much full digital. I haven't now. bought yeah. like an actual like physical copy in like, probably like, What's the point? at least two years. God of War is the last one I bought. What, what, uh, Red Dead's next mm-hmm. next week or in two weeks uh, from now? 26. Next, 26. 26. Next 26. Yeah. Why would I stay up late, get dressed, yeah, go, go to GameStop? Game That's the thing. I, I haven't done a midnight line. launch in like, God knows how fucking long. It's and, like at least 10 years. Okay, so I got the game. It's 1130. Let's say they gave it the game out early. Because sometimes they do that, right? Yeah, they do that a lot now. So <laughs> I, I go launch. home. I put it in. All right, it's like... Updates. It's like 84 gigs or something. Like it's more than that. It's like ninety. It's like gigs. over a hundred, I think. Oh, what Red Dead? Mm-hmm. Red Dead. Mother. I think it's over a hundred. Okay, Fuck so her. I got to download all these gigs, and guess what? There's like the day one update. Oh, that's gonna be like another, another. So there's another, another three 50, hours. Another like fifty fucking gigs. Yeah. See, so why would I do that? That's when actually, I can have it preload. That's actually one of the main reasons I stopped giving a shit about physical copies because like you still got to install a fun game. You got it's, yeah, it's ridiculous, like, and like kids who get a PlayStation Four for Christmas, like oh, I got my son the God of War bundle. That guy is not gonna play it Christmas Eve. He's gonna have it. He has got to uh, yeah. download all this other crap. Oh, without especially doubt, yeah. if it's an online game like GTA Online yeah. or Red Dead. By so, the time it's Christmas, I'm gonna be honest. I'm like really looking forward to Red Dead Online. I, you, what yeah. news do we know about it? I don't give a shit. I'm, I'm kind of down for it. Like you see where GTA Online ended up, and they're going into Red Dead with where GTA all... Online has been the top ten. That's what I'm saying. For... Grand Theft Auto has never left the top ten but since that's it released. What I'm saying, GTA like, look what they've learned from doing GTA Online. They stopped. They didn't. Even, they was like, why the fuck would we do story DLC? That's literally. Yeah, what, that's literally, literally what they, they said. Yeah, it's like that was supposed to be a thing. I remember. They're right. like, why the f- why the fuck would came they? out in 2013, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So like that, there was suppo- September 2013. They were supposed to do story deals. Like, and they never, did. Never fucking they they ha- said, like, it's still coming. We're continuing. And it's just... And I thought it was good, because, like, I thought the GTA Five story was just okay. Well, I, I think it was a good experiment. Like, I honestly... This is my issue. I think, like, you look at that game, you know which character was the most fleshed out. Michael. Like, you know at one point Michael was the, the main fucking character. hmm And it's just like, oh, it's... it's Why wouldn't cool. you say it was Franklin? Dude. He was the most... Michael was the easily most fleshed out. I, I don't know. Well, like, I, I almost... There, there's a little bit... He's the one with the family, and yeah. he's the one with, you know... It's different, because, like, I remember... Dude, like, it, like, the game fucking starts playing as Michael. I do I do think that Michael was originally intended to be the main character. If you even look at the first GTA Five trailer, yeah. it was told by Michael's yeah. perspective. Yeah. Like, solely. So I think originally that probably Holy was shit, the this, case. this fucking podcast is everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. No, that's... Look, that's... that's um, I'm cool. but I, I honestly think that... Uh, I think Red Dead Online is gonna be great. Like I honestly think that's gonna be like it's gonna it's gonna be another one of those like just platforms. It's gonna be plat. It's, yeah, it's gonna be there's it's gonna, gonna be battle be, royale. Like right. There's, there's thing. I think it probably be pretty. Good but how's it gonna be battle? I think they'll just gonna go full like undead battle royale nightmare. Oh. Uh-huh. I you know I predicted that a long time ago that they were gonna be doing a battle royale. I still think they will, but I almost feel like that Rockstar is gonna like buck that trend a little bit. I think if anybody's going to do something innovative with the Battle Royale genre, it's going to be them. Because this is a point that I've made on the podcast to Todd. Like, some, some, somebody has to lose. It's somebody be, has to be the loser. It's going to be PUBG. Right? PUBG, PUBG's, like, done with this PUBG point. has, like, so, I mean, I never played PUBG, but, well, like, every new, every news article I read is, like, something bad. I prefer PUBG over Fortnite. I do. When you've right. got PUBG and Fortnite and all these spinoffs and then Battlefield and Call of Duty and Red Dead or whatever... Like, somebody has to lose. Battlefield's doing Battle Royale? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah Battlefield's mm-hmm. going to have a Battle Royale. Uh, I plan on picking up a 
Black Ops 4 on my Xbox. Uh-huh. Because, uh... Why I'm a, PS4? Uh, well, because I'm... Just, I'm not going to play with anybody. Because I'm going to play with, uh... Ronald. On, uh... So Ronald has an Xbox? Yeah, he has, cause his ass got, like, he sold his PS4 and he got an Xbox. Yeah, that's dumb. So, uh, How about we, uh... Crack open that Kraken! Want <laughs> <laughs> to try the Kraken? I'm still drinking the Sabiki. I this know. is my third glass of Sabiki. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I bet this is actually uh, this is we're still recording, right? Yeah. This is actually be the first time I've ever had rum, actually. Rum of any kind. Yeah, rum of any kind. This is uh, Kraken, black spiced. Mm. You want a little bit? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You ever had rum? Uh, like uh, rum and coke. Oh, yeah. Mm. Ooh. See what we're see what we're working with here. Get a little, get a little taste. Oh, thank you, Todd. <laughs> <laughs> what what attracted me to Kraken is the packaging. Yeah, I really like the packaging, and I will often mix that with Dr Pepper. Call it Doc Ock. Oh shit! You like it? Hell yeah! <laughs> First exposure to rum, huh? See, I need to down that shit. <laughs> Well, so I like spiced rum a lot because you get the, the vanilla and like yeah, that's, the, that's exactly what yeah, I'm getting right now. I, I the love vanilla it. and cinnamon kind of flavors. It's a, rum is a very good Christmas. You drink. know what this reminds me of? Hmm. I don't know why it's like reminding me of Kahlua, like coffee liqueur for some fucking yeah, reason. I can see that. Yeah, it's uh, like I'm I said, big, I like to drink big, rum around Christmas. That's why people put rum in eggnog. And yeah, that. I'm a big fan of White Russians. That's my. my it, I'm it's with Lebowski milk, guy. right? Yeah, you got milk you. and what. Uh, I usually so like depending on what you, I usually have like half and half now so I usually just Kahlua, get half. yeah it's uh, it's Kahlua vodka and half and half it's like it's good I like the Big Lebowski but I never had a White Russian that's the Big Lebowski the main reason I did it. like I was like I got really into it it's the 20th anniversary we should toast to that yeah there you go there you go so the Big Lebowski John Goodman losing all that fucking weight dude did you see him Holy I saw him in that he lost shit. so much weight. I li- he showed me that picture. I literally it took me like a few minutes to find to John. I'm like, I'm like, you're looking John Goodman. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> literally, I like passed him up. He's such a good actor. Him and Steve Buscemi. Oh my god. Shut Apple. Uh, there really is. Dan called it. Oh uh, yeah. Apple is the main thing I taste in that. I'm about to start drinking that back again, but. It's just like... Johnny Appleseed already went mm-hmm. all the way to Japan. <laughs> The most American. <laughs> so this is about to get bought when I get home. Yeah, you like it that much? Fuck huh? yeah, dude. It is good. So that's the thing. I want. I've been like, I've been trying to like expand, mm-hmm. but trying to like mm-hmm. get out of my lane. Because I've tried gin. I think I'd like gin. It might be one of the few clear ones that yeah, I actually lot, fucking like. A lot of bourbon drinkers tend to like gin because it's it has it's it's a yes it's a clear alcohol but it has. It has more complexity to it. That you're the only clear alcohol I like is moonshine. <laughs> <laughs> I do actually That's like, like Scotty. Scotty drinks like that fucking Everclear. Oh fuck! Like ninety nine fucking percent. Bro, right, that's what you drink. Is it like straight? Like, that, 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 that is just to get drunk. Fuck that. That's a straight diesel. No See, flavor to it. Yeah, you drink Everclear if like you're you don't care about the flavor. You don't care about the fucking. You don't care about the journey. You care about just getting there like quick as possible. See, Everclear is like if you just like if you just lost the will to live. Some real shit. <laughs> I would never drink that. Like it's not good. I've had it several times. I like but, the rum. Yeah, it's good. I like it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, this is about as good as I thought. So so what? So let's rank these then. Uh, Hibiki, all the way at the top. <laughs> Kraken. No, do, you agree, do you agree with that, Dan? Do you think Hibiki's the I best one? I think so. It was yeah. like the most unique without being the most weird. Yeah, complex flavor. So, yeah. Okay. I, I might be a little biased, but... <laughs> Maker's Mark second? Maker's Mark is like simple, but well, like, It's simple, but it's got I, it I, it, it, that, that good citrus note, man. It's, it has that like citrus note that I really enjoy. I might... I love Maker's Mark. Where you want? I'll, I'll move it if you want to. I like, might put Elijah Craig ahead of Maker's Mark. You know, oh, you know what? I'm like sitting here forgetting about Elijah Craig. Elijah Craig is definitely better. Uh, and then I would say. No, I like Mount Peak. Not Mount Creek, Creek, more than Beam, and then whatever the fuck that other one was. Yeah. So, yeah. That, that, that is. That is definitely. I think good. that's the right thing. I think that's a solid right thing. It's for some reason I forgot we drank Elijah Craig, and then I was like, oh yeah, Elijah Craig was good. It was very good. And it's like 
barely twenty dollars. Yeah, so I bought it for sixteen ninety nine. Now that's not a fifth. That's like a pint. But it's still. I mean, that's you know. It's a good bank. That's a de- decent little bank. And uh, the bonus of uh, for the Kraken. Kraken's very good. I'll put that in between. <laughs> like I said, a good mixer. Mix that with a little uh, uh, Dr. Pepper. That sounds good to me. Like, I'm pro- Ooh. Uh, what, would well, you, what would you say is the best? The best, like either. Uh, so I actually have. Um, here, you know what? We'll end this with a little mixer that I like to do. Let's do it. I don't have any root beer with me mm-hmm. right now, though. So, but but I'll I'll give you like two thirds of a uh, mixed drink that I like to make. So another thing that, that I that ass have, looking good, boy. No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so are you familiar with this? You've told me about this. I've never actually had it, but. Take that bottle, open it, and smell it. That's straight fucking bananas. Now, do you, you don't like bananas, do you? See, I don't mind them. I, I, okay. here's the thing, I don't mind, say, so like, I don't like actual bananas, but I like but banana. Little, I like. A little shot of that and a little shot of Kraken. Well, oh, shit. Is that Kraken still in there? No, this is a... Just down that Hibiki real quick. <laughs> just, get, just go ahead and polish that off real fast. Mm. Ooh. <sighs> I can enjoy myself. <laughs> well, yeah, you can sit There's no rush. No rush. So, PS4, five, PS5, 2020? 2020. Take I, it to the bank. I, I honestly agree with that. Like, you know, I, like, I, I, I believe in you. Like I, I do think that makes sense. It's just like like the more sentimental part of me doesn't want to think that like, 2014 was. We were just saying four that. Years ago. I'm still happy with my PS4. Like yeah, you know, yeah, I'm still totally happy. It just with doesn't it. make sense to me because like man, like people are still buying your PlayStation Four. Like that's that's why I think. Well, they'll that's do the it. thing. You have a lot of people like just that are just jumping into this generation now. Like that's why like, I think they'll do that in 2020 versus 20. I think they would release it in 2019 if they could, but like. I think the fact that PS4 is still selling, it's going to go on to sell 100 million units if they let it, right? <laughs> but the fact that it's the fact that it's still selling, I think, is the reason that they're going to kind of like stymie until 2020. So the next God of War, the next Spider-Man game will probably be PS5. I think so. I think so. Like early launch games. Yeah, I think so. I love you. <laughs> I'm gonna t- I'm gonna take you home. You're not taking Herbie anywhere. Watch me. <laughs> <laughs> so Destiny 3 is happening 2019 though, right? Uh, that wouldn't shock me. Oh, Lord. That wouldn't shock me. Now, the real thing is like they need to like learn to not like backtrack. Reset. Yeah. I mean, it's, you know what's fucked up though? It's like, Seth, I don't even play anymore. No. I, I, I haven't played it because I've been so busy. Well, dude, but I like, like, I still like playing well, it. Well, dude, do you like, have you played it since the uh, giant update? No, dude, I'm telling you, oh, yeah, you're since not. Forsaken. I'm telling you, since well, I've been, I played, but I've been playing Forsaken just with like, I, I like just going in and playing um, Gambit. Gambit, yeah. Gambit's good, dude. Yeah, Gambit's, yeah, Gambit's great. Uh, the only thing that fucking pissed me off with Gambit is uh, anybody with Super Simulant. <laughs> yeah, they, they nerfed that though, didn't they? It's still, like, it was it's, still rough. Last time I played, it was still bad, but it's like, why do you like? <laughs> can't you just like update it really quick and just like make it? Yeah, hot week. fix, yeah. Yeah. There, there's a lot of, like, th- th- it's a big balancing act to do something like that. That's the thing with a game like uh, like that. It's like, you gotta, uh-huh. you gotta worry about, like, the PvP aspect and also the PvE aspect. You can't, like, shit on a weapon in PvP and just expect them to, like, not ruin it in PvE. That's actually, I think, Destiny's biggest problem is you have to sit there, it is that balancing act. You don't want to, like, shit on something too bad <laughs> to make it terrible. Like, because they actually, was they recently buffed uh, Scout Rifles. Mm-hmm. Which mm-hmm. is like scout rifles were shit, and like when Forsaken came out, mm-hmm. I don't even like I would I, I didn't use them when I was like mm-hmm. playing it. Man, and like uh, I mean, again, yeah, this isn't a hot take, but I wish I was easier to like communicate in the game more because like like, like you, do you wish there was like a like a like a like, like if I'm playing a typical, public event like it's should like, I be like I wish I could talk to you, the strangers I'm playing. See, a that's event. That, that is the beauty of actually playing that game on PC, obviously. Because it's like you actually have like the fucking chat bullshit. Like you shouldn't actually have to be in voice chat to do that. There should be, I do agree, like the way there's like an emote wheel type of thing now. Uh There should be like a menu to do like quick, quick little voice commands. Don't shoot at this. Like, hey, don't be a bitch. You know, shoot at the platform or shoot at this instead of that. And, you know. You can hear me doing baby talk to this dog. (laughs) Yeah. 
It's all right. This is. I mean, I, I think the people can be prepared. Listening to us slowly get drunk <laughs> <laughs> over the course of an hour. So we're getting a rest and clank then. Yeah, I I was actually shocked. I literally predicted in our E3 predictions episode. I thought we were gonna get another Ratchet and Clank because that that game sold extraordinarily they, well. I actually want to play that game, and I never so got around to good, it. Dude. I played, and I got halfway through it. And it was just I was, loved it. I loved it. <laughs> I loved it. And they they did such a great job with that, and then I platinumed it, and like I just I really mm. am. And, and it's funny because they they actually changed the story up in like significant ways. Mm-hmm. And, to be um, like the movie. To be yeah, to be more in line with the movie, and it kind of makes a little more sense. Like they involved like, you know, the big bad of like the whole series. I guess really is is Doctor Nefarious. Fly and, like an eagle. <laughs> 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 and they sort of like worked him into the story, you know, and stuff. And I don't know. It it, it was really good though. And it's, and, it's it, kind of weird that like that phase is over. Mm-hmm. Like like the whole animal. Yeah, the mascot, mascot phase. Is, is, is done. That's, that's kind of dead, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's dead. Like it, like it had its time in like the late nineties, early two thousands, and then like my boy Blinks. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Blinks, looking out to you. Cheers to Blinks, the time sweeper. I I remember playing that game. I liked that game. I so, remember. I like, never beat it, but I, remember, I can't remember if I beat it either. I remember like the controls were like. They're Funny. rough, right? So yeah. I'm gonna straight say the Hibiki is probably the best like it's, it's whiskey good. that I've ever had in my life. It's good. Like it's like I'm mad that I'm gonna like be gone. <laughs> like, <laughs> you can get your hands on it up there. I'm sure. I'm down, I'm if down. I can get it in like That's fucking okay. Louisiana, uh, I'm gonna actually like I'm gonna have to drop like the eighty bucks. Yeah, you can, so. you can get it. You can get it. You can get your hands on it. So I guess. Oh, uh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the Last of Us Two is gonna be the swan song then. I, I, just, I, yeah. I mean, just like The Last of Us 1 was, right? Yeah, yeah. It is, you know, you're going to obviously end up being able to play it on PS5. And then the remastered version yeah. is going to be the launch. Oh, check game. it out. It's even better. Like, fucking 125. The, the 8K <laughs> TVs. Right. 4K TVs I, are good, dude. I like them. I like that they're getting cheaper, too. Yeah. Um, you, you don't have a 4K TV yet? I do have oh, a 4K okay, TV. But I have a Pro. Oh, man. You gotta get one. But, but the colors pop. Like, on yeah, Destiny. definitely. So the color's yeah. still there, but like it's not as smooth. Yeah, yeah. But I'll, I'll get a... That's why I kind of want a PS4 Pro. And I'm still thinking about getting an Xbox... Just to like play, play. I, I keep thinking about it, but at this point, I'm just I'm just gonna wait for the next uh, thing. I'm not watch that kid. What? I'm kind of waiting for it. But it's like, like, <laughs> there's honestly some times where it's like, man, I really miss playing Halo. I really miss. Mm-hmm. And then like, I mean, I've been bashing Xbox for a while because like their exclusives are like really weak. You know, and we were just of, talking. We want to do another like playthrough of Halo Two. Yeah, that's something I'm down for. Halo like, Two. Yeah. I love Halo 2 so much. I said Master Chief Collection, then like Seth kind of pinpointed like just playing like Halo 2. I'm like, I'm down, dude. Halo 2 specific. I love that game so much. Oh, yeah. they, they, like, they, it's actually just like the as I've grown and as I've thought more about it, as I've replayed that game, it's actually just like so much better than well, all the I, other Halo games. I know. I'll, I'll straight up say Halo 2 is the best Halo. Like, I, I, I mean, it's hard to argue about which Halo is the best because like okay. it, 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 that's but, the thing. It is subjective. It's yeah. like an entirely subjective thing. It's like. Talking when I talk about like uh, Halo like the Dark Souls is definitely series. like the most amb- oh, ambitious. Yeah, that's that, and that's what I love about it. Yeah, it's, and it's sad because like when you watch the documentary, like Bungie's like all sad, like we had to cut this, we had to cut that. A yeah. lot of this was cut, and like yeah, it shows, but like what's there is yeah, is it's, and it's meaningful. Cr- it's crazy. Like the the amount that they actually did fit into that game is pretty crazy. I I love that game. I guess we start and end this podcast talking about Halo. Yeah. <laughs> It's uh, it's not the same anymore. I don't know what Halo Infinite's gonna bring. But they're see, being cagey with that. But like they're they're There's, ooh hello they they're saying they have like, said it's the continuation though. That's the thing. They I did, guess. like the, the night of when it was announced, like Jeff Keighley was grilling that guy. He's like, so is this like like Halo Six or is this something else? Uh, you know, I can't say anything. But eventually they it's did. Weird. All right, so let's end it with this uh, mixer you're talking about. Okay, so this is, this isn't usually what I do. This is like two thirds of what it's normally what I would do. As I'd be like a third Kraken, a third ninety nine bananas, and then a third root beer. And to me, it's sort of like a like a Donkey Kong kind of vibe. Just tell me when. Just just do a little yeah, just a little bit, just a little bit, and then do just as much of the ninety nine bananas. Give it a little give it a little shake. You can do it if you want to, Dan. 
I'll just have the 99 bananas. So 99 bananas is just a banana liqueur. Oh. You can drink it. I mean, like, it's... But it's 99 proof. Yeah, that's like it's a lot. What does that mean? So, so basically, it's it's going to be strong, but it's but it's more it's it's like mainly for mixing. Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> just I would just go go a little bit on that. <laughs> <laughs> and you put Kraken, or you put I put, I put, I put a little Kraken in there. Should I get Dr Pepper? No, I don't have any Dr Pepper. Fuck. You know I have Coke the- Zero. <laughs> I'm I've been wanting to do this all day. Why don't you just do it? I'm not gonna stop you. <laughs> t- 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 touching my beard, by the way, for the audio listeners. He's not like touching my penis. <laughs> I mean, he might. Let's see where this goes. I got a few drinks in him. Mm. <laughs> so, got him nice and liquid I up. Might have to look into giving this for like. So, do you time. like it? Ah, uh, this is good. So, so, well, here's the thing. I don't hate banana. I like. I hate. You don't the, like bananas. I don't like bananas. I like banana flavor. You like the flavor. Like, dude, I like. Well, here's the thing. It's the texture. Right, like you, you like remove that mushy texture. Like I right. love banana chips, That's like it. the dried, like the freeze like the, yeah. yeah, I love I that banana shit. bread. Yeah, I, I love banana like, bread. You do, I like banana flavor. I do not like bananas. Like it's just I did not like the mushy bullshit. And it's even worse when you put them in cereal. <laughs> <laughs> but but the, so they have um, they have like ninety nine peach, ninety nine strawberry, like. All, basically, all, it's it's a line of basically fruit. So like, so you normally do a root beer, mm-hmm. rum, and like mm-hmm. okay, I might have to look into that. Mm-hmm. So ninety nine bananas. I don't know if I'm. I probably have to like go to an actual like liquor store for this. So I might have to go to like Benny's. And if you really want to take it up a notch, do that and a scoop of vanilla ice cream. Oh shit! And that's a very good kind of Donkey Kong inspired drink. So yeah, you got me fucked up. I might have to get me some. I'm gonna buy some alcohol when I get back home. <laughs> But we'll be looking for some hibiki, some kraken. Very nice, very nice. Uh, yeah, everything else here is like whatever. Well, I think we should probably end this episode at some point. <laughs> no, we can, go for, we can go for another hour. Just random bullshit. <laughs> it's been nice, though, to yeah. sit yeah. and like, share some drinks with you guys and just yeah. bullshit. Absolutely. And rub rub that belly. <laughs> just see us, see us all get progressively <laughs> fucked up. All right. Well, thanks. Uh, thanks for joining us, Dan. My pleasure. Thanks this for, was fun. This... Yeah. Thanks for being on on your first episode of Nerd Bourbon. That yeah, was very fun. I was, it's good to actually be sit across Todd here and... Yeah, and actually do it in person. Very very nice. Well, here I well, I'll use my empty glass. <laughs> <laughs> so good. I met thing. I met you before I met Todd, right? Because I know yeah, I met Jake yeah, first. You met you basically met me through Seth. So who's better? Who's better at Halo Three? <laughs> What, like between all of us? I don't know. Uh, I wish I could just like, I, let's fucking see, motherfucker. Lose <laughs> one, I wish. I wish. I, I think, I mean, I like, don't know. Because like, I was always I was, able no, to. I was thinking, like, I, I think I, I was jumped, always able to run away. Dude, the last time. <laughs> you know, You've always been a very dude, good Dude, Deadass, the last time I played Halo, I played Halo with all of you, I think. It was like, I think we all jumped on Master Chief Collection. Mm-hmm. I was top of the I remember that shit. Hey, Halo 2, I had fucking. Oh, uh, Halo 2? Yeah, you'd be on top. Halo I'd, 3, I was actually a fucking monster. I remember, like, once you got the sniper, you get really mad. Because, like, I would say you're not good with the sniper, even though I know you would. Oh, I would shit on you. Yeah. And then, yeah. You just, like. Thank God, I shit. Oh, shit, guys. Todd's really quiet. Mm. <laughs> he must be in the zone. Or, oh, shit, Dan's really that's, quiet. Well, yeah, Halo 3 is back in the year. That was back in the day when we were not, like, Shit, I was a teenage cyborg. Like, I was like fucking good at this. Yeah, thing. yeah. Like, all now, the time like, in the fucking world. Garbage, right? I remember when Halo Halo Reach came out. I was like at my first college, and that's that's the best downfall right there. That's just like. Well, let, let's end this podcast and play some video games. All right, <laughs> all right. Thanks for joining us, guys. Well, uh, how do I end the show? That's right. Sorry, I'm drunk. Get fucking dunked on. Get fucking dunked on. Bye. See ya. Hey there. Thanks for checking out another fantastic Nerd Bourbon video. If you like what you saw and you want to see more, be sure to go ahead and subscribe. Leave us a like. Drop us a nice comment or I guess a, a mean one if that's if that's your prerogative. But uh, until next time, get dunked on.